time to play the game. Time to play the game! It's all about the game, and how you play it. It's all about control, and if you can take it. It's all about your debt, and if you can pay it. It's all about pain, and who's gonna make it? I am the game, you don't wanna play me. I am control, no way you can shake me. I am heavy debt, no way you can pay me. I am the pain, and I know you can't take me. Hey everybody, this is EZ, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we saw Kamari beat some Ronzo ass. And in this episode, we are going to venture up Mount Gagazet, hoping that we can finally reach the peak of this mountain. And I see right here, I'm just doing the sphere grid on Kamari, mainly because I'm OCD like that and I don't want anyone not to have the levels and I'm not going to use Kamari for the rest of the game. I just figured that, hey, why not? Hey, since we kicked Biron's ass, maybe we might leave us alone when we try to climb the damn mountain. Jeez, I can't stand that guy. Annoying. Someone Fuck! <laughs> leave us alone, you son of a bitch! Now you're freaking singing? Ah! That's creepier than everything else you've done. Can I just kick your ass again? That was more fun. Can I just have Titus fight you this time? See if you can beat a non-Ronzo? Could that be even more fun? If Titus could just go there and smoke your ass and be like, Uh, Ronzo weak. <laughs> Must go train more. But yeah, that would be too that'd be too easy if I actually had Titus fight because he would just roll them. And all the Rondos are coming now. It's like it's just a Ronzo convention. Jesus. Ronzo convention. They're all singing the hymn of the faith, and I highly doubt the Ronzos are actually singing that because that is way too good. Really is. It's too good singing. There's no way that is Lorenzo's. What the look, Titus gives you is like, um, what the hell is going on with these guys? And there's a chest to the left there. You see a little break. There is a chest there. So, yeah, I just, I don't want to get it. I think it's a mega potion or something. And most of this episode consists of me running up Mount Gagazet doing random battles. So I do need to raise my levels up for when we get to the top of Gagazet. However... If I didn't, this would be about a two minute episode and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to show you my ascent up the mountain. They don't like Lulu, do they? One thing I have always liked about the bombs up there, though, if you do counterattack them, they don't get bigger, so they don't have to worry about blowing up. But this little son of a bitch he flies, and I can't remember what element he's weak to. I think he's actually weak to fire, but I'm not sure. We'll kill him eventually. And there goes a water uh, again. He did. Die! Die, you bastard! There we go! Can't touch Tedus twice in a row. Huh. Though he already did in the battle, but whatever. And we continue moving on up. Moving on up. Do the side. I'm not trying to sink, folks. Don't worry. I'm moving on up the mountain here. And... This mountain is actually a maze. If you don't know where you're going, you may get lost. So, if you don't know where you're going, just watch what I'm doing, and you will be up that mountain soon enough, folks. Let's soon get them, guys! I'm just saying, screw logic, screw letting them get turns. Titus, kill them if you can! With an energy ray!
I love this attack, I really do. It just blows everybody up, and it's an insta kill. Insta kill. Now we go up here, this little break up here. This is not the way to go to get to the top of the mountain, but there's something up here that I want to show you guys. Right after I haste everybody and let's end this quickly. Exactly, Ted, send this battle quickly. Now that purple monster looks like a Wendigo. Wendigo, whatever you want to call it, from an earlier fight. Don't worry folks, they cannot hit me with a physical attack. Just evade encounter! Titus. Right. Now this guy will put up his dukes after a certain point if you give him a chance to. He's a lot weaker than the Wendigo boss, Wendigo, whoever you want to say it, boss you fought at Makalania. But he does more damage when he hits you. Up here, you see that thing on the ground? I uh, the Braska Sphere. Let's see what Braska has to say for us. Hello, Yuna. I hope Hi, Braska. Well. I wonder how old you are now that you're watching this. Sphere. Seventeen. You must be very beautiful, like your mother. I wish I could. No, see but I'm a ditz. You can see me. You're just dead. You're not. Oh, by the way, Jack and Oren send their regards. Hi, Jack. I hate you. So far, our journey has been very entertaining. Of course, it is a hard journey, but I have no regrets. Never regrets. It is the path I have chosen. Yuna, when you have grown, you will have to find your own path. Okay. Do what you must do. Yeah, Jack's just walking in the background. Doors will always open themselves. Jack, you're interfering in the video. Listen close, Yuna. Your future is yours to make. Live the way you want to. She is. Live the way, way you did. May be, you have your father's full support. Yeah, I don't you think you'll have the support after he kills you. Just she kills herself to save the world like you did. Yeah, that's the only Braska sphere in the game. There's also an orange sphere and Jack spheres. I will go over later. I will do a side mission to get the ones that I've not gotten. So far, I've only gotten two. That one right there and the one you get from the sphere. That is it, and I hate repeated battles. I really do. They are so damn bad. It's so annoying. But the good thing is, Waka can overkill that guy in one shot, so that helps. And when, when these three guys are out, I cannot die. Especially <laughs> if they attack Titus, because he counters everything. Which I actually believe is a good thing that I gave to everybody evade and counter weapons because Yeah, they can't die and death it hurts. I don't know why, but death apparently hurts. Because nobody likes to die. And now I'm gonna keep on walking up. Like I said folks, this episode is mainly just me walking up a mountain. But what are you gonna do? It's part of AGAIN WITH THIS BATTLE! Enough. You've seen this battle a few times, folks. You know what to do. Just kill the things. Not hard. It really isn't. It's a very, very easy battle, so I'm not worried about it. There goes one. Should be two. Yep. And there we go, you're dead. Now that battle is over. Go! 
blow is forward. Yeah, it's a good one, Walker. Only way to go is forward. Honestly, uh, I, I might cut out an episode, I might cut out a few battles here, but I'm probably just going to record through it all just to show you guys. The agony that I went through. Trust me, it's agonizing. It is agonizing. So, yeah, it's agonizing sometimes running up this mountain. The mountain itself is the trial. Very good, Lulu. Very good. The mountain itself is the trial. Nothing. Just a bunch of wires and metal. Nothing you can't kill with a sword, which makes no sense how you can kill a robot with a sword, but whatever. Yeah. That's a bracer for Orn that I'm not going to use because I don't need it, so I'm not going to use it. Yeah, be an idiot. I try to attack Titus, you dumbass. One shot it. Trying to attack Ori that you miss. And you can kill Lulu with one shot because you're a son of a bitch. Lovely. Did I mention how I hate son of a bitches in this game? Like That's all this is, it's just an image. Ow. That's what happens when he gets his dukes and you don't kill him. He will punch you in the face! Don't be a, don't be a dick. Don't punch me in the face, you bastard. Be nice to me. I'm just trying to kill you. Be nice. Well, they were really the mocking I was there ten years ago. I would love to see Jack start fighting robots. That'd be something I would just love to see. Jack fighting a robot. As I said before, I always use Titus Overdrive whenever I can because he's the only character that needs a certain number of uses to actually gain his next overdrive. Walker, you gotta play Blitzball to get, which I will be getting and I will show some of those games off screen. Uh, off screen. But for right now, I haven't played it yet, so I haven't got the overdrive yet. And I'll I'll do that, don't worry, I'll do it. It'll be a bonus episode to get the overdrives. But you can do this whole game without an overdrive, I just like to use them because they're fun. Dead. I kind of wish there was more variety in encounters in this, because this is just repeating the battles, which is kind of like starting to annoy me, and I'm the one recording it. And you can poison the giant ogre. I don't know why, but you can poison him. I don't know, poisoning a giant ogre is a very good way to win and kill the giant ogre. That poison actually should have made it so Orn could have killed him, but I had the Titus do it. I think it's overkills easier. Yeah. 
Yeah, actually, they're, man, they're pretty good, actually. I'm actually surprised I got this many levels here. I'm expecting about two by the time I get to the top. Yeah, and you get to enjoy my screen. There we go. And keep walking. Who's this? I've seen him before. But where? And I get this battle again. That battle is always fun. Same battles over and over again. Aren't you having fun, guys? And just love how Titus one shots everything. Anyway, I'm going to try to start uploading more regularly, like once a day, every other day, something like that, instead of the gaps that I've been having. Because the gaps even annoy me, and I'm the one doing it. So I'm going to try to upload more. Greetings, Lady Yuna. My name is Wan. I want, I'm easy. We have met several times before, right? I've never talked to you before in my life. running today? Hmm. I have to carry on my brother's business. Brother? You've made him, I think. Awaka the 23rd. Wait, you're that guy's brother? <laughs> that what? He has a brother? My brother, but the temple imprisoned him. They imprisoned him because of... He doesn't regret it, though. Fact, yes, the temple imprisoned him for aiding traitors. Why would your brother do this for us? Because he's an idiot. Well, hey, this isn't the time for... There's dealing to... Welcome to... Because he's a druggie. There's dealing to be done. Now, if I start selling things, I will be able to buy the item that I want to buy in here, and I'll show you which one that is once I get enough money for it. It's kind of a double-edged sword if you think about it. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword of the item I'm going to get, and I'll explain why. I'm going to get an item called Booster Cactar. What it does is it gives you magic plus 10, magic plus 5. I'm going to add magic plus 3 to it. Also, it's magic booster. I will be sure. He's doing the what same magic booster you. does is doubles the power of your attacks. It literally doubles the power of your magic attacks, but also doubles the mana. Now, there is an item later on that can give you one MP cost. And mixing that with the magic booster is about the same as doing a Vade encounter. It breaks the thing so much. And I miss. I can never hit that for some reason. I just can't do it. Robots, robots, robots. Gotta love them robots. Now, yeah, I'm using Unit to use Cure, because I mean, I. Does Jill Reed and she's still here with me, honestly? Otherwise, I wouldn't even touch her. If she didn't have Cure. Now, there are a few paths I could go off to get some items, but I'm not going to get the items. There's no need for me to get them. Like I said, I'm overpowered as it is, so I'm not going to worry keeping about us busy. Better than freezing to death. Maybe if you would wear more clothes, you wouldn't have to worry about freezing to death either, or... And Jesus, you're the one that's well-dressed. Everyone else is like... Skimpy shirts... You and you know the two best-dressed people. For this type of environment, definitely.
minions, yeah. I hate some of these random encounters who said the same damn thing every time. Come on, make it different at least. At least make it somewhat different the encounters I fight. Like make a robot battle, then we make it the little dog battle and the ogre, something like that. Keep me on my toes here, don't just continually go Oh shit! You wanna fight? It's gonna be the same battle you just had ten thousand ten thousand times already. More robots! Aren't we just so special? We get robot fights again! Yay! I promise, folks, the next couple of episodes are not gonna be this are not gonna be this way. This should actually be one of the last times I do this. Maybe one more time, I think. I mean the area is just boring. The texture quality of the area is boring. That's why it's like, ugh. And there's a little path on here. This actually, I thought something was down here, but it's actually back somewhere that I forgot to get. It is a good item to get, I just forgot about it. So, don't worry about it. More fighting, more throwing balls in people's faces! Well, he sets me on fire! Who sets people on fire? Seriously! Honestly, who... Why would the bomb set me on fire? Makes no sense! This would be so much funnier if I had Riku in the party because she could punch out all these robots. Why could I never hit that on my capture card? I need to find a way to get rid of that lag factor. I probably could do it if I dropped the quality item, I'm not going to do that. And he dies. Lulu's going to electrocute the robot! Even though electrocuting the mechanical components actually makes them stronger. But okay. I mean, you can fire with an, over, with an overpowered bolt, but... Lulu's not overpowered, so her bolt's not that strong. I don't know why that works like that. More robots! Okay. But, we've actually reached the top point of Gagazith. We've actually reached the nearest safe point on Gagazith. What is awaiting us in the next area? Will it be fun, or will it try to kill us? Find out in the next episode.